Hurricane Melissa made landfall in Jamaica earlier this afternoon as a Category 5, making history as the strongest storm on record to hit the country. This is a live look with 185 mile an hour winds. The storm is also tied for the second strongest hurricane in Atlantic history from a wind perspective. It has lost some strength. It's now a Category 4 storm. Extensive damage has already been reported to homes, hospitals and schools. Melissa strengthened quickly. Water temperatures are warmer than usual in the Caribbean. Meteorologist Colton Woods is here to explain if that may have influenced Hurricane Melissa. Colton. Oh, for sure, Elaine and Julia. The warmer than usual waters in the Caribbean Sea has allowed Melissa to rapidly strengthen over the past few days. But there have been other influences that we have been monitoring as meteorologists as well. Taking a look at the data, you can see the water in the Caribbean just south of Jamaica where Melissa really strengthened is 2.5 degrees warmer than usual. Now to get a hurricane, usually you need the water to be at least in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. However, just south of Jamaica, the water is pushing 90 degrees, so well above average for what we expect for strong hurricanes. We also had a blocking pattern that allowed Melissa to just stall and absorb all that warm water. And with diverging air aloft, that really allowed it to strengthen most like a vacuum just south of Jamaica. This allowed Melissa to be tied for the third strongest Atlantic hurricane by looking at it with a pressure perspective. It dropped down to 892 millibars, which is very, very impressive especially in this region. Taking a live look now at Hurricane Melissa, it has weakened because of the land influence of Jamaica itself because it is a pretty mountainous island. Winds are now at 145 miles per hour with gusts upwards of 175 and the pressure has risen to 921 millibars. Continuing to move out to the northeast though as a category four, it will likely make landfall again in eastern Cuba later tonight heading into our Wednesday and then by the time it moves to the northeast through the Bahamas by Wednesday afternoon. But that's all for Melissa coming up in a little bit. Meteorologist Blake Hansen will have your forecast back home. Guys.